Hi dears, our next unit, motion. What is motion? Do you moving now? How do we know whether a body is in a state of motion or at rest? Let us see. Consider a passenger in a moving bus. What about the position of passenger? Yes, compared to the bus, passenger is at rest. But compared to the road, passenger is moving, isn't it? Next example, a bird sitting on a cow grazing in a field. Compared to the cow, the bird is sitting. But compared to the field, the bird is moving. That is, motion means position changes and it can state only with compared to another object. Got it? That means motion is relative. The object which is taken as reference is the reference body. That means reference body is the object with respect to which the state of rest or motion of an object is described. Look at the table. A passenger in a moving bus. With respect to the bus, passenger is at rest. Here, bus is the reference body. With respect to the road, passenger is moving. Here road is the reference body. Next, a crow sitting on a cow grazing in a field. With respect to the cow, the crow is at rest. Therefore, cow is the reference body. But with respect to the ground, crow is moving. Therefore, ground is the reference body. Next, a child standing in a field. With respect to the ground, child is standing or at rest. With respect to the sun, child is moving because earth rotates around the sun. Here, sun is reference body. Next, a book on a rotating table. With respect to the table, the book is at rest. Therefore, table is the reference body. With respect to the floor, the book is moving. Therefore, floor is the reference body. A body in motion undergoes a change in position. Determine this, we use distance and displacement. Take your textbook and observe page number 77. Here, the path through which a person travelled to his office and returned home are depicted. He took the road near the hospital to go to the office, but he came back through the road along the ration depot. What is the distance travelled by him to reach the office? 900 meter. And to reach home, 1080 meter. Are the distance travelled in both of the situations equal? No. Find the straight line distance from his home to his office, 480 meter. Will he reach the office if he travels 480 meter towards north? No. In which direction should he travel 480 meter to reach the office? East. From this, Total distance travelled from home to office is 900 meter, but the straight and shortest distance in that direction is 480 meter. Length of the path travelled is distance and its unit is meter. Shortest and straight length from initial point to final point is the displacement. That is, displacement has both magnitude and direction. Physical quantities are classified as scalar quantities and vector quantities. In scalar quantities, direction is not to be indicated. Example, mass, distance, time, etc. But in vector quantities, it has both magnitude and direction. Example, displacement.